Hello and welcome to another session on germs of geometry. Now in this theorem, it's given that the external bisectors of any two angles of a triangle are concurrent with the internal bisector of the third angle. So points to be noted here. First of all, they're saying external bisectors of any two angles of a triangle. Let's try and understand what external bisector is first of all. So let's say this is a triangle and uh, if I produce one of the sides, so A, B, C is a triangle and let's say I produce this B, C side to D. And then if I draw this line, which is, let's say CM. Now if these two angles are equal, then we say that CM is the external angle bisector of AD. Now we can have uh, you know multiple external angles at a point actually. So if I produce let's say AC like that, so this could also be the external angle, isn't it? So let's say this is theta, this is theta. So hence multiple external angles are possible um, for a triangle. Okay. Now so once we have understood this what is an external back bisector now we need to understand what x circle is so let's understand what an x circle is so many of you would have come across the concept of in circle but let's understand what a x circle is so first of all we have to have our triangle so let me draw a triangle so this is a triangle and now i let's say this triangle is a b c and I extend right BC and extend let's say BA like that. Now, guys, the circle which is tangent to all the three sides, which three sides BA extended, let's say this is D, BC extended, let's say E, and the side AC. So it would appear to be something like that okay so this circle which will be formed which is tangent to all the three sides yeah so one ac and the other two ba extended and bc extended will be called as x circle and the center of this circle let's say the center is o here wherein let's say if you drop a perpendicular on ab like that and like that on the three sides let's say like that so these you know the center this o is the x center what is it x center okay and this circle this one here will be called x circle so you can imagine if this is one x circle there could be you know a couple of more in fact two more so if i draw this draw that and here is another circle like that so this one will be another one and let's say if you produce this and produce that so there will be another one like that okay so there could be three x circles and x centers possible and the one which is let's say inscribed within the triangle will be called the in circle and the center of this will be called in center so i, I hope you now understood the concept of x circle and in circle right now let us explore the given theorem. It says the external bisectors of any two angles of a triangle. Okay, so in the given picture, if you see closely, ABC is the triangle. So let me highlight the triangle. ABC is the given triangle. Okay, and you can see IA or ZA, ZB. If you can notice this, ZA, ZB. Right, so basically AB is being produced and XC and XB. So BC is being produced in both sides and YC and YA. So AB, AC is produced on both sides. So if you see, uh, you have external angles ZA, so this ZA, B, C. This one is an external angle, isn't it? This angle is an external angle and it's bisector. I C I B. So this line here is the bisector. Okay, of this external angle. Similarly, I A C. This one is an external bisector of 
एंगल बी सी वाई ए एंगल बी सी वाई ए सो यू कैन टेक योर टाइम एंड सी बी सी वाई ए सो दीज आर द एक्सटर्नल बाई सेक्टर्स एंड द क्वेश्चन थियरम सेज द एक्सटर्नल बाई सेक्टर्स ऑफ एनी टू एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल आर कॉन्करेंट विद द इंटरनल बाई सेक्टर ऑफ द थर्ड एंगल सो दीज आर द टू एक्सटर्नल बाई सेक्टर्स आई ए बी एंड आई ए C are the two external bisectors, and we have to prove that A I A A I A is the internal bisector of angle B A C. A I A is bisector of angle B A C. Right? This is what the theorem is suggesting. Similarly, if you take these two external bisectors. then b angle the bise internal bisector of b that is this line b i b also pass through i b or you have to prove that if you join b i b b and i b then it is the internal bisector or bisector of internal angle b and likewise the other side this one so these are the two external bisectors and Right, so I hope you understood the theorem. Okay, so now let's look at the proof. So, I A B, I A B, is the external, or sorry, not external, is the bisector. I A B is the bisector of angle I A B C. Sorry, not I A Z A Z A Z A B C Z A B C. Okay, so uh, I A B is the bisector of angle Z A B C and I um, A C I A C is the bisector of angle. Z, oh sorry, Y A, Y A C B. Correct. Look closely, you will get it. Now, that means I A is equidistant, equidistant from from which two sides B. Z A and B C. Why? Why is that? Because we know that if uh, uh, because angle bisector is nothing but the locus of points which are equidistant from the two sides, and we have seen this in the previous session. So hence, if this is an angle, and if you trace the trace the locus of all the points which are equidistant from both the Sides, then you will get the angle bisector. So this will be angle bisector. This is what we have learned, isn't it? So I A is equidistant from B Z A and B C. Similarly, I A is equidistant, equidistant from B C and and Y A. See, because if you see this point I A is lying on the angle bisector, this angle bisector, then I A must be equidistant from both, from both B C as well as Y A C, isn't it? Now from these two we can say I A, I A is equi, equi, distant from Which two sides B Z A as well as Y A C correct I A is equidistant from B Z A and Y A C or I A is equidistant equidistant from I can say A Z A A Z A and A Y A Isn't it? Because 
if you see b z a is nothing but extended a z a or extended a b is b z a and extended a c is a y a okay now from this we can say what what can we say about it so hence um, so i a is equidistant from b z a and y a c or i a is equidistant from a z a and a y a now what is this if you see clearly that means i a must i a must lie on the bisector of angle z a a y a isn't it because if a point is equidistant again the same theorem if a point is equidistant from two intersecting lines right two intersecting lines they are equal that's so this is equal to this then this point will lie on the angle bisector why because if you take these two triangle let's say p q r and s in these two triangles these two if you see these two triangles what happens so this side or uh, let's say this side is equal to this side this is 90 degrees and this side is common that means these two triangles are congruent and hence this angles would be equal okay so hence we prove that ia must lie ia must lie on the bisector of angle z a a y a and what is it it is nothing but ia lies on bisector ia lies on bisector of angle b a c hence proved right that means all the three bisectors two external bisectors external angle bisector and one internal third angle internal bisector all are concurrent so this is a very interesting theorem